Oh, it's a little frosty on the pumpkin, hey? I tell you what. It's not shining though. The stink weed's got a little frost on her. Uh, I tell you what, you know what? Sun shining. The sun's shining, and there's not a foot of snow on the ground, so I don't know. I know it's and there's even a bird sitting up there on the wire. Christ. Okay, let's give everybody a little recap. Okay, guys, this is the morning of day six of our epic journey to Toronto. Uh, we're in a beautiful place called Sault Ste. Marie. I've never been here, but it's beautiful because we're only one day away from Toronto. And I've never met her. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so far we left. We let oh car's looking a little crispy, but it's not that cold, it's just frosty. So so far, Abe, what? day one, we left Friday. Uh March 1st, we made it to Red Deer. Day two, we made it to Swift Current, dropped off the Mustang. Day three, blizzard. Fearing for our lives. We're fearing to our lives, we made it to Winnipeg. Day four, hang on, I'm starting to lose track. Day four, we made it to Thunder Bay. Wind, yes. Yes, day five yesterday was our best day. Beautiful roads, yeah, sunshine along the Great Lakes. The old car kept doing 90 miles an hour. It was, it wanted to run. So this is I the wanted start. to run too. So, <laughs> <laughs> away, far away. <laughs> so now we're on day six. Uh, we've got approximately seven hours of driving. Yeah. Uh, to get to uh, the big city, Big Smoke, Toronto. So we got to scrape the car, get the ice off the windows, and see if it's going to start. You should be massaging that car instead of scraping it, Mike. I know, I screwed it up. Anyway. Mike, what about your socks? What about my socks? Hey, hey, now speaking <laughs> about something yesterday, after just about gassing me out, yeah. I put new socks on this morning. Yes. What did you do with them socks? With hazardous waste box? I looked at them this morning, and I turned them inside out. Oh, well, that should work out really well. <laughs> The stink will be on the outside now instead of the inside. <laughs> That's what I thought. Anyway, let me remember how to open. Oh, where's the scraper, Zave? Hang on. Is that for a special someone called Mike? This is for the love <laughs> machine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hang on, Abe. Let's get rid of some. It's nice to see where we're going and what we're gonna hit, right, buddy? Well, it's all never strange. You see this? What? Not here. What? We got the side window here. It must have be where the sun's coming up over. There's no frost on the side window. Yep. And then there's frost on the side window. Hey. The, uh, the love machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Mike thinks of your love machine. <laughs> well, Mike, at least do it so I can see out the goddamn window. You don't have to see where we're going, I do. Okay. Yeah, how's the car been going, Mike? The car's been running like a top. Okay, guys, on camera. Okay, there. It's got oil in it. It's been documented. Well, let's see. It's right, it's right in front. It's right along the It's burned one quart in about 3,200 kilometers. Let's see here, here. Yeah. And we put in purple so we could see it. There's one quart of royal purple in there so we could see it. Normally we run mobile one here, 530. Full synthetic. Bam! It's good. I didn't loosen that one off. That, like that belt See, squeaks a bit. Well, you don't oh. like it? Look at that. Oh, look at this. Yeah, she is a little loose this, this morning. Look at this. What? Well, here. I think we should tighten it up, eh? Well, go get a half. What is that? Half inch? Go get a half inch. Hang on. Where's the tools? Hang on. Yep. Blair's got the wrenches. He took them out of here. Blair's got them. What happened? Let's tighten it hey, up. Hey, you know what? What? Blair. <laughs> Is it a standard Chevy? This is Chevy. Standard Chevy uh, washing window uh, Blair, did you, did, apparatus. Did you take the, take the tool hey. kit out of my car? <laughs> did you take the tool kit out of my car? Yeah, when we were at, in, uh, where'd you put yeah, it back? I took it out of the car. Yeah, well, you didn't put it back in the car. Is it in the truck? Oh, you're a 
freaking negative and accusatory. Is it in the truck? No, it's in your freaking car. Where? Just around. Hang on. <laughs> Where? It's <laughs> a great Damn big it. giant toolkit. Too early in the morning to piss me off. I make it right with Blair. I can be demoted. Oh, sorry, Blair. I couldn't see it. You hit it so well. It's exactly where it was. <laughs> I thought it was up sideways. Half inch. Got a half inch. Here. There's two here. Okay. Uh, I don't want to scratch the car leaning over it. Okay, let's see. Uh, Hang on. That one. And this one. Hang on. Uh, uh, are you kidding me? No, hang on. Is, is there something in there? No, but it's got this one. It's got the one with the, it's not a wrench. We don't have a set it's of... It's got this one, it's not a wrench. Dave, it's got a Allen key. A big okay. one. Okay, now is there something in there? Where's the, where's the handle off your squeegee? Bring your squeegee over here. You're gonna break it. Loose Just it. bring the squeegee over here and see how tight it is. It may move. Why don't we loosen the other nut first, Dave? It's tight. This one's tight. You gotta loosen them both. Or a big screwdriver. Where'd you put the wrench? In my pocket. Okay. We have we have the right size. What yeah, size is it? Okay, tighten it up. Uh Okay. Here, here's the half inch here. Okay, okay. I don't know why you f argue with me all the time. Well, we should have just loosened that one too. Okay. Hang on, <laughs> half, half inch of deflection. Okay. We're just. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Be careful, you don't cut yourself on that fan blade. Uh, Good uh, enough. Okay, let's try that. Okay. That is a good little tool kit, Abe. Eh? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Are you an idiot? Yes. Like, like, why did you do that? Because I wasn't thinking it's early in the morning. Oh, God. I know better. You can't move this one. Okay, give me a minute. Here, Abe. No, I am not. I'm starting to your tools away after messing them up. Sort them out. Oh, I start the car. Come on. Put them all back in the right spot, too, please. Dave, it won't, don't just do it wrong, you'll wreck it. Just take two minutes and- No, I'm not taking, you go f yourself. <laughs> I'm not cleaning your ass up. Alone. You can go ride with Blair. Oh God, it's gonna take five minutes to warm this up anyway. Beat the wipe and the the wiper motor. Why? Because Hoople had can't seem to order a proper part ever in his life. It's got a glitch in the automatic parking switch, I think. Hey, who knows where we're going? We're going to Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. I tell you what, maybe you guys pull a little bit of that cardboard out of that ditch this morning. Do what? Pull a little bit of that cardboard out of there. I would think so. Oh. Well, it wasn't it overheat yesterday, but it was, it was kind of finally getting up the temperature. I don't think there's a thermostat in that motor, I don't think. Oh, shit. Right. No, I don't think there is. All right. Because it, it doesn't, it, the temperature went right down to like 160 when we were driving, which is too cold, eh? This cardboard was put on the front of this car because it was like, it was like just about 20 below probably, and this car was making no heat because it was taking all the energy out of the water. It was just too cold so you put it over the radiator to keep the wind from coming into the engine compartment cooling the motor down and 
keeping the flow out of the radiator, which cools the water. So you put a piece of cardboard over it, the hillbilly way. Uh, usually, when we get near Toronto, maybe yank it out. Because yeah. once we get stopped in traffic, that's what you do. It'll do its thing, yeah. You ever in the wintertime when you're overheating, put a piece of cardboard, piece of plastic, your favorite shirt, something even over the front of the grill that keeps the airflow and the tunnel effect from going and cooling the engine bay right down so everything makes it heat so you got some warm air. We were freezing to death in there until I put that cardboard carpet over it. Or I should say that cardboard. Okay, we're on our way. Ciao, bud. It was a blizzard across Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and Alberta, man. We were sideways at 100k down the highway, semis on our ass. We thought we would get. Well, we saw your car well, like, well, committee. Hey, we we're like, hey, there's the first summer car we've seen in a while. We've seen a few more. Let me ask you a question. What do you think about Hoopalhead driving this all across Canada through three feet of snow? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> right? you exactly. Why, exactly. <laughs> so is the show back on? Is that what's going on? Well, well this is for our YouTube channel, but uh, they're still going to hold it. Yeah. So we'll see, but we're going to Motorama in uh, Toronto, eBay Motors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I told them I don't fly. People like we spent two weeks getting driving up. We're like, oh, that's a nice one. That's that's that. Yeah, well, yeah we, we saw the wheels. Like, it's funny you didn't say, that <laughs> feed it. Well, no, <laughs> oh, he's got some good wheels. And then I saw your hair go. So wait, we went, wait, wait, wait a minute. And there's we only one guy with that like, hair. Yeah. Wait a minute. That's, well, that's good. Good see. No promise. No promise so oh, far. Oh, well, except for, like I said, three days of whiteout. Yeah. The Did only weather we haven't had is a hurricane and thunder lightning. It was just fun. <laughs> you're you're going to be clear sailing to Toronto. It's beautiful. So tell all your friends if I'm speeding a bit, just let us go. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Tell them to find him an extra 25. Just watch out for moose. And, and oh, yeah, they bears are starting right? to come out, so just watch out for moose. No problem. Them. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Hey, good to meet you guys. Good to meet you guys. Good to meet you. 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 Not all. Not all of them. It's not true. Some are nice, not like us. Here. Stand on this side. Get over here. Here, hang on. Give him give here. Give him the film guy the camera. Here, okay, wait a second. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll just get you to send it. All right. Okay, hang on, take a couple. Yeah. One, two. First time I got pulled over without a ticket. Former complaint. Abuse. If he doesn't stop farting in this car, we're all gonna die. What's this about you farting all the time? You trying to hide yeah. your sock smell? No, Amy just scares <laughs> shit out of me all the time. Yeah, right. <laughs> First he's I tried gassing me with his socks. It's okay. It's called <laughs> You gotta pay it. <laughs> so far, nice warm day, roads are good, traffic's light. I'm sure that's gonna change the closer we get to Toronto, but so far, so good. <laughs> off menu. Oh, jeez. Just wait. Easy, okay. Trip fuel. <laughs> oh, 362 kilometers to empty. Great. And that's accurate? Yes. Bang on the money. So show me again how you found that? Uh, I guess. Yeah, okay, exactly. but anyway, you keep pushing buttons. It'll no, up. I'm not going to keep pushing buttons. I might hit cruise control, okay, okay. anti-lock, okay. or eject. Okay, go, no, okay, it's fine. Go, okay. I keep going until the red light comes on, yeah. and then... Okay, you're getting 19.8 liters per hundred. Holy this thing's a pig. Oh, you're about the same as you. Trying to keep up to you yeah. guys. You're, yeah. you're not getting any better than that. If you're getting 20, I'd be impressed. I'm getting about 12 <laughs> miles to gallon. Are they still pump it or did you shut it off? Yeah, uh, when did you get helpful? Yeah, how much do you get? Oh. This thing only holds about 12 gallons. Look at this. What? I know it's full when it comes well, out. The nice thing about <laughs> that, I'd rather smell that gas in your feet. Yeah. Here with Avery on the road. He's got his SS out there. 
No, that's oh, yeah, Mike's ass ass. And Mike. Oh, yeah. there's the boys. Avery can't afford a car that nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, guys. We're big fans, me and my son. That's awesome. Hey, hey, hey Mike. Hey, Raymond, nice to meet you, man. Hey, glad, glad uh, to meet you. That's awesome, guys. True to the word. Got it out on the road here, eh? A lot of people said we wouldn't make it. I think we're almost there. It's been six days of hell, but we're almost there. That's awesome, guys. Yeah. That's awesome. Mike, is it okay? Uh, sure, man. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? Big Good. fan here. Yeah, Glad big fan, you. me and my son. Yeah. Right on, here in Iron Bridge. Thanks a lot, Iron guys. Iron Bridge, okay, now we know where the hell we are. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, guys. Okay. He's an idiot. <laughs> you guys have been missing shots. <laughs> Matt, you guys have been missing shots for six years. <laughs> All right, I'm in here. He's in here, okay. We're chasing a horse and buggy. All right, let's go. Hey, it looks like my fuel gauge is working. Nice. I don't know, well, at least it works if we get power. Okay, we'll see if we can't find you a horse and buggy shot, Matt. Hello? He's gone. He's one grump. What, uh, what town are we in right now? We're at uh, Iron Bridge. Iron Bridge, Ontario, man. We just saw a horse and buggy go by. I was hoping we'd catch up to him, but probably not. He's probably just zipping around. But that was pretty cool. Okay, let's make a mile. Six hours to go, give or take. Six, six and a half. Beautiful scenery, eh, man? Just 
way easier driving than it is in BC. Roads are in great shape here. I mean, it's, right now it's all gentle hills. For a while there in Northern Ontario, we, we come down, saw some pretty cool views of the Great Lakes. Just come around a corner and it's like you're looking at the ocean. Uh, I mean, now it's just kind of gentle rolling hills, uh, totally different. I mean, it's a lot like north of Prince George, right? And there's no really big mountain. Well, there's mountains on either side, but the way you drive, you're up on the on the central plateau. So it's a lot like that, except there's way more uh, deciduous trees than uh, coniferous. I mean, where we're from, it's all, there's not as much, eh? It's usually all spruce, fir, pine. Here, there's a lot more, I guess, hardwoods. Hey, we're 700 meters away, I guess. Oh, stop, four way. Where are we going? I'm uh, going to a guy named Mike to pick up a spot welder for the shop. It's an old style one with octopus arms. So you can do reach inside. It's good for floor pans, inner fender wells. Blair says he's got one, but he doesn't trust it. But my other buddy says it's the best thing since ice cream so we're gonna try one i'm trading a block for it so it's no big deal where's I, the block like where did the block's you in the back of the player's truck but the block i'm not i'm not trading the block with this guy i'm buying the welder and then my buddy's gonna give me the money back and he needs the block he's gonna meet us at the show pick up the block Hey, we're here. Oh, be good. Yeah, good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Okay, let's get this done. We're all. Get a shut up and go do it. Six days of thievery. Oh, Quit your whining. Fuck your miserable. Shut up. Anybody ever told you you're fat and ugly, dude? Yeah. Just talk, 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 talk. Get back in the truck. Talk, 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 talk. Okay. Uh, you want to give it a shot and put some plates together? It's okay. Blair fired up. It's identical to mine. Yeah, That'd identical. And he's trying to sell it to me for thousands. He's yeah, damn thousands. Not expensive. Man. I was. I know, he's a criminal. Here I come in, undercut your 500 bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, no. no Avery, step over here. Whip it out. You you want to see it. It. Hey, you want to sell this bolt motor? Sure. How much? Tell him lots. In fact, whatever you were going to charge him. Shut up. Just double it. Right? Just I'll make me. you a deal. Because you, you guys came out, how, how long have you been driving? Six Plus days. Six days. Whatever you offer him, I'll buy, I'll pay more. <laughs> <laughs> For you, 300 bucks. Okay, I'll buy that. There you go. All right, hopefully you double 1938 it. Look at that. And it's still, it's still got compression and everything. I got another bolt motor that I got. Yeah. That's cool, eh? Hey, you owe me. You can't ride the... Oh, f*** off. How about off how does that sound <laughs> oh, oh he's got the lucky sock just see, like my old man he can ride with you the rest of the way i don't have a miserable. problem with that he's miserable to somebody else for a while avery <laughs> listen to you here okay here mike okay 500 right? 500 okay three there go there we go there Five, we're done. Done. perfect done deal we don't have to weld it i'm taking your word it works well, hey, not it a does. problem yes perfect yeah. probably looks in better shape than yours eh, Blair? no about the same? Yeah. Well, they're they're like 20 years old, right? Oh, they're fantastic yeah. machines. So, so what did you uh, use it for? I see you got quite the tool selection here, oh, Mike. Yeah. What do you do? Or what? It's like what don't I do, pretty much? So what That's do you, what do you do besides collect old boat motors? Oh, with a little bit of welding, a little bit of fabrication. I built uh, all sorts of sh over the years. Oh yeah, cool. I had a nice little homemade oil burner up in that corner. Oh yeah. And fabbed it and everything, and uh, pretty much what I was doing. Cool. Get Blair, out. Blair, what are you looking at? Yeah. What? Screwdriver. Oh, a screwdriver. He's looking for a screwdriver. Yeah, lost the guy. Yeah. Let's go in the crib right there. You'll find a bunch oh. on the wall. Mike! Yeah. What? No, not bad. What? <laughs> what? You mean his tools are organized? Look at this, man. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, look over here. I know, I was just saying, I can see them all, yeah. Oh, wow. We need some of those. Yeah, turn the light on if you're gonna... Yeah, yes, there you go. Yeah. 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 This, tire... this is metal. Where oh, yeah. You, like, where do you get this stuff? That's old racking you get, like, from industrial stuff. Well, well, it's gonna... The metal, the, the molten hole stuff. Oh, that. Yeah, I was throwing yeah, that out at the mall. 
Steve, you're throwing that out. That was at Foot Locker. That's really? Crazy. And I said, I told the manager, I said, hey, like, you can't just throw that out. So that's no. a good, you know the good idea about having this on there? Is when you grab a wrench and you're walking around, you just set it back on the hook. And there's a bunch of you just walk by. Oh, well, you can a, tell what you're board. missing. I have a wrench board at home. Yeah. And it's the best thing that I ever built. You walk by and just set it on there when you're not. Yeah, you know, I've just never seen one made of steel. Normally they're cardboard, but cheap junk, right? Uh, no, I, I no. have one made of plywood, and it just it didn't well, last. It's steel, like eight inch plate. Pretty cool, man. I want one. Okay, well now I know I'm gonna go online and find it. Somebody makes it. Oh yeah, yeah. they make it. Yeah, you cool. Can ship, you can ship it in. Yeah, got those sheets like that. Yeah, yeah, and then a thousand hooks, and then we get rid of all our toolboxes. Get them out. And then you, yes. you can actually Excellent. see what you got. You know, yeah. you, you forget what you got. You don't know where it is. This, you can see it all. Yeah. You know what's missing. And you know, hey, where's my half inch? That's right. Where, yeah. And you can blame you your know buddy from here. across the room. Yeah. You, hey. Yeah, yeah. You put that <laughs> back. You <laughs> put yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You say, you put my uh, wow, nice. that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Steel. Like yeah. Well, good thing we stopped in. We both learned something. Just what did you do? Hammer capital. Oh, you broke it apart. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. Well, I picked these up. Oh. I don't know, they're just like little wall signs or whatever. Did you want some of those? I'm gonna toss them out. Okay, sure, why not? Yeah. Cool. Okay, well thanks a lot, Mike. Really appreciate You're it. Most welcome. And I'm really Enjoy. glad you can take some money off Avery. It's like prying teeth out. Yeah. Money out of him. <laughs> you know that? If you if you'd have did that to him when it comes to doing a deal of friend, lose his mind. <laughs> That's all they're telling me to yap on. Like I'm tired of it. <laughs> Forget where we are. We're somewhere by Sudbury. We just picked up a welder. I made a deal with my buddy Scott. I'm picking up the welder. He's going to reimburse me for it. He wants a 340 block, uh, which we've been dragging since BC. The car's running spectacularly. We got one more fill up and we should be in Toronto. It's been six long days on the road and we're going to make it home tonight. Got a few scratches from the road salt, a couple rock chips from the gravel on the road, but the weather and the road conditions we've been through so far, the car's looking pretty good. Tomorrow, we're gonna get a complete detail done by the guys at the Training Institute. Stay tuned, it'll be a really good good video. And uh, I think we're one fuel up away from the end of the journey. We just gotta find Avery, he's sulking somewhere. Where the, oh, there he is. We... Okay, Mr. Pouty Face, get in. <laughs> You're an idiot. Who in your Cheerios? Mm -hmm. Man. What? Like, you just don't stop. Like, I was talking to the guy. And then you were, you were rude to me. Oh, give me a break. You weren't even there. I looked at that and asked him what you wanted for. Because you never talk, I guess. It's all about you talking all the time. I was making a deal with the guy. You already Why had were you a even deal. there? Your deal was already made six months ago, Mike. So you weren't I hope making he a deal. I tripled the price. That'll make up for you <laughs> selling my shit at the auctions for nothing as soon as I leave because it makes you happy. It does. Me. That's right. <laughs> so suck it up. Let's go. Yeah, with your boat motor. Yeah. Man, <laughs> I tell you, I'm really glad I get along with both of them. <laughs> and I don't like being in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, some days it's just great being me. And this is one of them. Holy, this truck is so nice and peaceful. I should toss them both a set of earplugs. Might help them both considerably. Turn it around. Here. I can't see without my glasses. Yeah, push that one. Okay. All right. Hang on here. If I can get you do it. You're taller here. than me. Hang on. We'll get the car in the back now. Get over here. Hang on. There we go. Three good looking things. You, me, and the car. They're right on, brother. Yeah, brother. Well, basically, right. we, we couldn't yeah, get, the, the, get the car up the operating temperature because we got a big aluminum round and we were going fast and the temperature was cold. So this just re restricts airflow through your radiator. So the car runs hotter, so we got some heat. <laughs> yeah, it was starting to blow its guts a little bit. Oh, we got a spare thing. Let's top it up. Yeah, I think everything's good. It just, everything looks good. It's, it, it's, it's, it's warm that's driven excellent the whole way. Like, excellent. Like, again, we're talking old technology. Most of it's updated, but it's still old technology. And you know what? 
it's a good experience and at the end of the day, as much as he pisses me off, I'm glad that I did it. Other side, Aver, I can't Holy get you. We've done this. What? Right, okay, well, okay, we're just talking about with the bad hair again. Okay, there we go. Hey, you see us now, you don't. Awesome. Okay, thanks, man. Thanks, thanks. 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 Okay. When you guys stopped at the light, I was coming from the golf course, you stopped at the light and turned here. I said, I recognize that guy. <laughs> pretty hard, pretty hard, pretty hard to miss him. <laughs> we need did to stop. Did, did you repair that boat? What boat? Remember the one that sank. Who was that boat? Yeah, what boat, Avery? Anyway, what boat? Anyway, long story short, we're not talking about the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we need to stop. But I need. Hey, to... is Environment Canada still phoning you about the boat and who well, owns it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, but, why I got these, I'm uh, making make maple syrup. Oh, oh snap cool. To, oh, yeah. Snap's running. I got one full batch so oh, far. Cool. Well, where's our syrup. sample? I got just a little <laughs> bit left in the drink. Uh, that's okay. Is that really uh, maple yeah, syrup? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what he does. Yeah, what I do, I go there and I dump it in there. Then I go to my brother's place in Missoula. And, and that's where we, we you guys it cook it down. Yeah, you boil it off. It's and 40 get to 1, so. Yeah. This so 40 is liters of. Yeah. 50 that, gallons, so, so you, you get, get one 12, gallon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Two, eight, so something. four and a half mason jars yeah, or yeah. whatever, you know. Wow. Long process? How long does it take? I guess the whole It takes me all day. I start about 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep. And around what? 4 or 5 o'clock, we were done. Okay. We had two jars. Cool. Well, right on. And by the way, there's no food here that we can eat. I think you can live off your reserves for at least another five hours, eh? Hey, I come the fat guy. Hey, I lose weight. Who's he gonna pick? <laughs> you lose it, I'll find it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got me on a diet. Yeah. What's the diet called? It's like a duck's breakfast. <laughs> a glass of water and a toothpick and look around. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're cheating on the diet, Avery. Well, I need to have something. I'm starting to get a headache. Um, God, there's too much bread in that. Right here. A diet. A diet. And a lottery ticket. If I win this lottery, I want to buy Mike's car and crush it. <laughs> hey, where'd Avery go? Well, he's, been, he's had all friggin' day. If the guy would ever stop his gums from flapping, we might make a mile. We're on it, let's go. Second right, right, Ave? Yeah. Is okay. that on your diet? It is. Okay. That way and that way. Yeah, he said not this light, the second light, mm -hmm. right? Okay. I started squishing yogurt in my pocket, Ave. Why didn't, you, why didn't you remind me I had these? I'm just a bad person. There you go, right there. Okay. I'm until supper time. You want to race? Yeah, what?
I mean, they sent us to two different, so Blair's going to the wrong hotel. Yeah. He's got, we gotta be. Well, like I say, when I looked it up, that's why I went over at three, four, I said, what's and the show, address? I showed you the address. We both right, looked at it and agreed. It because there was 14 of the f***ing things on there. So the airport's close to here? No, but there's a donut shop close to here. <laughs> okay, now where? Um, right there. See the Hilton Garden? 150 see, meters. See right there? It says okay. the Hilton Garden on it. Okay. Right in there. We're in the parking lot. I'll just wait to see if we're actually booked in here. <laughs> <laughs> They're at the wrong one. No, ain't the wrong number. Love it. Well, the good thing about it is we don't have to worry about our bags because they're with Blair. About probably about 100 kilometers in the wrong direction. Where are we going to park? Where's the VIP parking? Very ignorant pricks. How are you feeling, Mike? I'm feeling old and tired, bent and busted. Happy well, we you made, made it. it. We made it. I'm, I'm happy we made it. Of course, it couldn't be a Russ Brothers trip without a cluster right at the end. Anyway, we're here. We're safe. Thank you. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and share, please. Remember, those that have should give peace, love, and joy. I'm going for a shower and bed.